Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do a um, lipstick haul for you guys. I'm going to show you guys all the lipsticks that I have and purchased. Um, these are not, just a disclaimer, these are not lipsticks that were given to me. I purchased these lipsticks with my own money and these are not all the lipsticks I have. These are the recent ones that I literally purchased. I think about... Um, two weeks ago I purchased all of these there's different ranges different colors so I think it would suit everyone's um, preferences so the first one I'm gonna actually swatch it to show you guys the first one is and by the way just letting you guys know it's also different um, different prices too as well so they range from more of the lesser um, end lipsticks to the higher end lipsticks but personally I have no preference as long as it does the job I'm fine with it and I have a lipstick obsession so that's my thing so the first one is the wet and wild pink lipstick and this one reminds me of a Barbie like I don't know like you know how you just look at a color and you think of Barbie? This one reminds me of like Barbie. And this one is called Dollhouse Pink. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm just going to show it to you. Here. This is the color on my hand. So it's a very nice pink, but usually I would wear this like with not too too much makeup on the eye, just very low because it's so bright. It also kind of reminds me of Candy Yum Yum. The only difference is Candy Yum Yum has blue undertones in it, like some of it. This one is more like a pinky undertone, so yeah. Another color of the pink ones that I have, which definitely kind of reminds me of Candy Yum Yum, is my NYC lipstick in Forever Fuchsia. And this one does stain your lips, so I'm just letting you guys know it does stain it. But I wear this practically like all the time. And there is like a smell, but it's not a bad one. This one reminds me of Candy Yum Yum. Only difference is it's not matte. The first one I put on does turn matte. This one is more of a creamy consistency. So this one is Forever Fuchsia, and this one is Dollhouse Pink. The next one I'm going to show you guys is another Wet n Wild one, this one, and this one is more of a lighter color pink color, I know it's really weird. Um, this one is called, I don't think it says it, but this one is a pink, but it doesn't say what it's called, but this is the color, and this is the way that it looks like it has more of an orangey brownish peachish like it looks more peach than pink to me so that's this color right here another wet and wild one and it's matte the next one I have is an NYC lipstick this one is smooch by NYC it's a creamy consistency and it's kind of the same color as the other wet and wild one so let's just compare this one is wet and wild this one is wet and wild dollhouse pink this one is um forever fuchsia and this one is smooch so smooch kind of looks like the first one so just so you can see it all but it is like as you can sh see shiny and um creamy consistency Another one I'm going to show you guys is more on to the higher end for a little bit. This one is the Lady Gaga Lipstick by MAC. This one is more of like the, um, like, it's a light, it's like a red, but it's more naturally, but the only thing is there's shimmers in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's not really a red red, it's like a reddish, pinkish type color like a burgundy-ish light burgundy color with brown undertone like a red with brown undertones is what it looks like so that's that one and then I have another one from the Lady Gaga collection and this one is more of an orange color but this one comes on a little bit more um, creamy and more precise so this is the second one from the Lady Gaga collection right here so that's how it looks like so you can see it. The next one I'm going to show is Remo London. 
and doesn't say what this one is, but this one is a neutral color. Try to swipe it up here. This one can go for like anyone's lip. Like it's so neutral and nude. It's this color right here. But it it is a pink. And it's right here. The Remo London lipstick. In a shade 150. The next one I'm going to show you guys is one of my favorites. It's from L'Oreal and it's the Brunettes um, uh, the brunettes brand, the natural brunette, and this one is in color rich 231. And I love the packaging of it, it looks so nice. Like, I don't know why. This is L'Oreal and stuff. And the color is like natural. Like, I love this color, it's so brown. It's brown and creamy. It's this color right here. So if you like darker skin, this will definitely look like a nude on you. If you're darker skin, you don't want anything too crazy. This would definitely be a nude on you. And then you just wear it with like no big huge set of makeup. Just like your lips and just foundations. And then just like get your eyebrows done. And you're good to go out the door and just put this on. Because it will literally look like your natural lip with just lip gloss. Believe me. Um, it's a little bit dark for me, I'm not going to lie. But it like if I put if I apply more it's darker if I apply less it looks natural so another one I'm going to show you guys is the one that I wore today but I changed my lip color because I it's nighttime and I wanted something bolder but during the day I wore a nude by Mulani and I'm just going to show you guys the color I actually just got these and like killing them it's been two weeks and I'm already killing them so this is the nude by Mulani right here. It's a creamy consistency, but like I can tell you guys because I wore it for a whole um, day today. And I wore it for like um, from 9 to 6, so like 6.30, so that's like I'd say 10, 9 hours. And it lasted on my lips, I only had to apply it two times. and. Um, it was like creamy but not too creamy so that was really good the next one that I have is another Mulani color and it's another Mulani lipstick sorry but I don't know the color because I lost the bottom part for it when I was like packaging it and this is when I actually like got it too so this is the color of it so you guys can see it it's this color right here this is more of a darker color compared to the nude from Mulani this is like a darker nude color and it has like some shimmers in it. It smells amazing. It smells like candy. I'm not lying. It really does. This, okay. this one smells like candy. This one smells like nothing. Literally. But this is the two different. So they're both nudes. The only difference is this is more of like a natural nude and this is more like a darker nude. But it has shimmers in it. So this is good for people who um, prefer like that look. This would be great for you. The next one I'm going to show you guys is, let me see here, my sticks. So I purchased some sticks <laughs> too as well um, in my whole like lipstick forte and I got the another nude and this is the NYC nude and this one is called, hold on let me see, you can't see it's so small, Nolita Natural and it's in the color one sorry zero one zero and I'm gonna put it right in the front here so you guys can see the color of it but it's so like nude it's ridiculous and it has shine in it this is the color right here in the NYC color I'm not sure you guys if this is a limited edition um stick because actually when I did purchase this one she it was the last one she had and I remember my sister was like oh get this one get this one but I didn't purchase it where I got all the others, so I'm not sure if this one's limited edition, guys. So just so you guys can see, it's NYC and it's City Proof um, Twistable Crayon Nude Color. So that's it right there. Another one that I got, too, from the sticks is the Rema London um, Pink Lipstick, but I don't know what color it is because it wiped out. So I'm going to put it right here. This is the color. 
this one is very natural if you're going for that Kylie Jenner look like this would be it just with a little bit of cream it smells amazing by the way so that's that one the next one I have is from CoverGirl and it's a brighter pink and I'm gonna put it right here just beside the other one they're kind of the same the only difference is if you're lighter like it's gonna show up more and you put more it's gonna show up like uh, like more on you but this is the color right here and this is the other one so this is the um, CoverGirl and this is the um, Rema London one so it's kind of the same but I think if you're lighter like these shades would be perfect for you but everyone has their own preferences like some people prefer pink some people don't so I also have something else I wanted to show you guys too um, some more lipsticks and stuff is like, like that so I was also um, looking for a lipstick that I wouldn't really wear on a day-to-day -day basis but I would more wear it like um, on like sorry my dog's barking I would more wear it on like a, um, like a, I guess I would say Halloween or like, you know, something like that, is this color right here. It's a purple, like, irony, magnetic-y color, and this is the color right here. It's per I don't know if you can see it, actually. I'm going to put it, like, in the inside of my hand. But this is the color right here. It's like a purpley, magnetic-y color and it is like it looks better on my hand than it does on my face believe me but this like would look amazing if like you were doing like an alien theme type thing like this one would be perfect for you the next one I have is a pink one and this one is more of a matte one I don't know where m my sister got this one I think she just picked it up um, you know when you just see random lipsticks I don't even know what it's called but it's basically called Balm, and it's by Hang Fang Lipstick. But this is the color right here. It's this bright pink matte color. It's that one right there. So this is the color, the matte, the matte pink um, color. So the next one that I have to show you guys, which I prefer, I do love this color. I do, um, but I like the darker color in it is the lipstick by Boshi and it's a red color but it's more of a um it looks bright but when you put it on your lip it's not as bright as it looks like on my hand as I said but if you're lighter it's going to show up brighter if you're darker it's going to show up like not as bright and your lips too it also de depends on the color of your lips and pigmentation so this is the color right here this is the color of the um Boshi lipstick it's like a reddish color it's not what I have on actually just letting you guys know like you can see the difference I don't know if you can see it on camera but it like from me looking at it it has more pink undertone than it does like red undertone so that's basically all the lipsticks that I got in the past week but tomorrow I'm gonna actually do another um, collection for you guys and show you guys what I have like in my own lipstick stuff that I've like collected over time but these are the ones that I purchased last two weeks or the last week I think no last two weeks so two weeks ago these were the ones that I purchased and I went off but I also purchased something else too and I want you guys to see it this thing I purchased a let me show you guys I purchased an eyeliner and I've never seen an eyeliner like this before in my life. It's a eyebrow pencil in the color dark. But it's a 3D um, eyebrow pencil. But I usually use it as eyeliner. And it is so sick. Like it's the sickest thing I've ever purchased before in my life. And it honestly shows up. Like I'll put it on my hand. This is how it shows up when you build the color. Like it shows up so dark. So... I thought like that was something that I had to share because I've never purchased something like that was really weird it was very rare um for me to purchase something like that so that was basically it oh I have a couple lip glosses too I have to show you guys oh it doesn't stop okay so I got lip balms too as well I got this lip gloss from H&M it's a pink one smells like kind of Smells like candy-ish. 
so I'm gonna swipe it on my hand. It's very like creamy and very sticky. But this is the H&M lipstick. I think we were just shopping when we was go watch a movie and I seen it and I was like, okay, let's go. But it's this one right here, this creamy, creamy color. That's it right there, the H&M lipstick. And I think this retailed for like $4.99. I'm not quite sure, but it lasts me like a long time because like when I put it on for like, let's say, I remember I put it on on Monday and I put it on for like, um, I would say I put it in the morning and I only had to reapply it like around 4. So, and I talk like every single second, so that's really good. And then I got another one, and this one is called Lip Smacker. And, oh, it smells like candy. You know those can? okay, you know what it smells like? It smells like yogurt mixed with those candies that you used to eat, those lollipops that are really sweet. Like, it smells like how it looks like, basically. And this is the color right here. I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to put a lot so you guys can actually see the color. But this is the color right here. It's just like this one. But when you apply it on your lips, it's like clear. Like there's nothing on your lip. And I guess it's more supposed to be something that's like, you know, geared towards that rather than, you know, whatever. Um, you guys know what I mean. You guys are not. Yeah, you know what I mean. So basically those are the lipsticks that I purchased this week. I'm going to do another one for you guys and show you guys the lipsticks that I'm going to be purchasing um, in the next... I'm debating if I want to do it tomorrow because I know I'm going to be purchasing some more and I have like my own lipsticks and my own stuff um, too because I have to admit I am a lipstick hoarder. So I'm debating if I want to just show you guys the whole overall collection or just show you guys the new ones that I purchased. But most likely I'm only going to purchase six. So I might just put it all together and then just kind of like show you guys or tell you guys, oh, I purchased these ones or whatever. It depends on what they have or what I see um, that I like. So I hope you guys actually enjoyed it. Um, I also want to show you guys a little bit, if you guys are wondering what I have on. Um, as for today, let me get up for you guys. Okay, so I got all up in your face. As far as today, I'm wearing white on white, and I'm wearing a um, blazer on top with my, yes, my little munchkin, with my um, white necklace. And then I'm just wearing like a top on top of it, and it's like strapless. And then I'm wearing a jacket, I'm wearing my um, Michael Kors watch earrings. I had my hair down but I put it up because it's night time and then as far as my makeup goes I'm just basically wearing um, cat eye eyeliner um, foundation I'm wearing <coughs> blush I'm wearing I think I'm wearing my Estee Lauder blush I'm wearing NYC um, glow which is a highlighter and I'm wearing red lips because I changed my lips so I hope you guys actually enjoyed my video I hope it was something that you guys liked um, as far as the prices for um, the lipsticks I'll try and see if I can put a list of all the lipsticks down below and where you guys can get them but I'm not sure about the MAC ones because the MAC lipsticks like the Lady Gaga ones maybe if you go into MAC you can find them but I'm not sure. But I do know the NYC stick. I think that might be limited edition. So I'm not quite sure. But I just hope that everything was enticing for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, stay tuned. And um, we'll see what other videos I have next. And my dog is crying. So I have to go and deal with her. She's just pulling a fit right now. She's by the door driving me crazy but anyway guys, la la la. anyways guys um i hope you guys enjoyed my little lipstick haul and stay tuned and i will show you much much more Mwah.